Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently, a lot of people in my streams have been asking me about the best way to build each member of the free-to-play team Bardock as far as their hidden potential skills go. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinion about the best build for each of these units to get the most out of them. But do keep in mind that all of this is my own personal opinion, so if you guys happen to disagree with something I say, that's totally, totally fine. And the good thing about these guys is that with the exception of the LR team Bardock, you can essentially change their hidden potential skills anytime you want just by farming a few more dupes, right? So if you do one build and you don't like it, you can just make some changes and test that out and just keep going until you find the best build for you. So with all that said, without further ado, let's jump right into it and we're gonna start here with the int fascia first we'll circle back to the lr bardock in just a second but as far as int fascia goes her main role on this team is to be kind of a tank and also somewhat of a support unit so as you can see her passive is defense plus 90 percent high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's an ally whose name includes bardock on the team so uh yeah as you can see mainly tanking with the high chance to evade and 90 percent defense and then a little bit of support with the orb changing and she also lowers the enemy's attack and defense with her super attack so the way i would build her that i think is the best way to use her is to go with as many additional attacks as possible so that she has a higher chance to possibly lower the enemy's attack and defense twice in a turn and then, of course, the rest will go to... I mean, it's a bit of a toss-up, honestly, because if you go with more evade, more dodge, um, it seems a little bit like overkill, because she already has a 50% chance to dodge in her passive, but at the same time, she's going to be doing so little damage that having crits is not going to make that much of a difference, but it will make a difference, right? It's going to be able to um, allow her to do a little bit more damage than her... You know very low damage so my personal opinion is that as long as you go as many additional as possible the remaining skills is totally up to you and it really doesn't matter that much if you want to go with more dodge to make her even more tanky then go with that if you want her to do a little bit more damage then go with more crit so there you go guys that is in fascia for you moving on to the uh, Lord Shugesh, our Lord and Savior, Fizz Shugesh. Um, he is a bit of a hybrid between offense and defense. His passive is attack and defense plus 90%, performs a critical hit when the target enemy is stunned, stuns the target enemy when the target enemy's super attack is sealed. So he works really well actually with the, I think it's STR Bardock that seals the enemy with a super. So once Bardock seals, this guy will then stun the enemy, and then once the enemy is stunned, then he will perform a guaranteed critical. But one other thing to pay attention to is that he also raises defense by 30% every single time he supers. So I think for him, a balance between additional and crit with more of an emphasis on additional makes the most sense. So something like eight additional and seven crit is I think the best build, especially because on longer events, when you have an opportunity to attack multiple times, this guy can become really, really tanky with his infinitely stacking defense. So yeah, for me, more additional and then the rest to crit is uh, the best build for Shugesh. Next up, we have the uh, Tech Tora. So Tora is uh, one of the main support units on this team, in addition to the LR team Bardock. He gives all allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, recovers 10% HP whenever HP is 70% or less if there are 5 or more low class warrior category allies on the team. So for most support units, you would generally just go with uh, all dodge because their damage usually doesn't matter at all, right? But uh, Tora is a bit of a different case because his super attack actually raises attack and defense by 20% every single time it's used. So um, in longer events like the legendary Goku event for example, he can actually get a pretty decent amount of attack um, which means that his damage can be okay. You know, still not going to be great but it can be pretty decent, right? So for him, 
I would personally go with as many additional as possible to get as many stacks on the attack and defense as possible. And then uh, the remainder of his hidden potential skills, I would probably go with dodge. So I would say focus on additionals and then the rest to dodge so he still has that chance to potentially dodge like a super or something that would kill you, right? So uh, that is Tora right there. Let's move on to Borgos here. And Borgos is actually going to be one of your primary damage dealers on this team. He gets attack and defense plus 90% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when facing only one enemy and launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. His um, super attack also has a medium chance of stunning the enemy. So uh, with this guy, I would say mostly crits because he is going to be, like I said, one of the primary damage dealers, but he also has that medium chance to stun. So I wouldn't, you know, go all crit. I would say like mostly crit with a little bit of additional for that additional chance to stun the enemy. And uh, that's where it goes for you. And finally, we are on the leader of the team, which is the STR Bardock. And he is basically a nuker, so mostly damage oriented, but also with a very high damage reduction of 50% if you have a full uh, team Bardock team, right? So uh, for him, I would say mostly crit. If you want to go all crit, like level 20 crit, that also works. But I would go with a little bit of additional because even though he doesn't really, you know, stack attack and defense or anything like that, it could still be good to get an additional super, right? So I would say like something, you know, around 17 crit maybe and three additional or 15 and five, something like that would be a good build. But, you know, it's not wrong to do like 20 crit either since um, as a nuker, he is mostly here for his damage. So those are all five members of the uh, team Bardock right there. For Bardock, mostly crit. For Borgos, mostly crit with some additional. For Tora, mostly additional with a little bit of dodge. For uh, Shugesh, mostly additional or uh, more of a balance of additional and crit, but maybe a little bit more additional. Uh, for Basha, I would say mostly additional with uh, a little bit of crit or dodge, really up to you. She already has a lot of dodge, so I don't know, doesn't really matter. And last but not least, we are on the LR Team Bardock. And the thing for this unit is that you don't have to worry too much about the hidden potential skills right now because we can't rainbow him immediately. We can get an additional dupe, like one dupe um, from a mission. So when you get that dupe, I would say for this unit, even though it's primarily for support, as you can see, super class allies, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% for team Bardock category allies. I mean, not like counting the support aspect, he gives himself, or this unit gives itself 60% attack and defense, right? And that in addition to the uh, LR stats, I mean, at max it's 17,807, but even um, at free dupe, it's 12,807, which is higher than every other unit on this team at rainbow status so even though they only get 30 percent attack and defense they're still gonna be the hardest or one of the hardest hitters on the team right so for me personally for my bardock i think the best way to build this one or not bardock team bardock the best way to build it is to do a balance between additional and crit still kind of treat it as like a damage dealer because like i said their damage is still going to be very good in the context of this team because it is an LR. So I would say a balance between crit and additional is the best way to go. If you wanna go dodge, that could also work. Um, and that generally is how people build support units. But as an LR with still 60% attack and defense, I just feel like they will do enough damage to justify the crit and additional over dodge. All right, so uh, that's it guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this uh, helped some of you who were a little bit unsure, you know, on the fence about how to build their units, how to build their team Bardock. And once again, like I said, this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying that this is like the ultimate best way, like the objective best way, because um, I think the way you want to build every unit is a little bit situational depending on what you're using them for. So for example, like uh, Fizz Shugesh, if you don't ever plan to use him on longer events, 
then maybe you want to go with as many crit as possible since you're not going to be stacking defense that much. But if you do plan to use him and the Tectora on the Infinite Dragon Ball History event or the Legendary Goku event, then you want to go with a lot of additionals since um, you want to stack as much defense as possible um, in that event, right? So uh, that's it, guys. That is the video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out